Hi Leo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's Today we'll be getting you some messages. We'll see what's going on in your energy and if there's any advice your angels and guides would like to tell you. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, Leo, let's jump in here. We have Temperance, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay, I was a little worried, but now I feel better. <laughs> All right, Leo, so your overall energy is the Three of Swords, which is heartache. You know, somebody broke your heart. Somebody really broke your heart. There are some deep wounds here. There are some stab wounds. We need to pull those swords out and heal. You're feeling quite alone in this world right now. You're feeling the weight of the world on your own shoulders. You're feeling like you really don't have anybody you could depend on. You really have to do it all yourself. The universe is telling you you need to have patience. Things will work out for you. You need to just stay calm, heal the things that need to be healed, let go of the things that need to be let go of, and move on. Because you're coming into some really happy energy here. You have the Four of Wands, which is you building a very firm foundation on something, something solid, something lasting. Um, it's also the marriage card, so that you could be getting married in the near future. Or at least family celebrations, right? There could be some kind of a family celebration coming up for you. Now, this is all going to lead you to your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is what happiness looks like for you. Whatever it is, whether it's your dream job, or if it's traveling the world, or if it's getting married and having a baby and a puppy and, and the house with the white picket fence, whatever your Ten of Cups looks like for you, that's what it is. That's what's coming in for you. That's what you're working towards. I don't feel like you have that yet because if you did, it would be in the center and crowning your energy. But right now you are still dealing with a lot of heartache. So Leo, we need to heal that somehow, some way. All right. Um, I'm going to get you some more cards. Let's see where this is going. All right, we have Justice, Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, and Eight of Wands. All right, Leo. So, with this Justice card, this is, um, and this heartbreak here, you could have gone through a divorce. This could be a legal battle that you're involved in. And, um, you know, with the death card here too, so it looks like something ended. So a marriage could have ended, or at least it could have been a pretty bad breakup. For that, for those of you going through that, I am sorry. I know how tough that is. I've been through it myself, and I understand. However, you do have something really great coming in for you, so you have things to look forward to. So you need to hang on to that, okay? Um, if you are worried about money with that Five of Pentacles up there, you don't have to worry about it too much because there is some new money coming in. You will be okay. You know, we your situation is going through a transformation. This could be you changing or your, your life situation is changing. It's a death that has to happen. And it's happening because it's not serving you, all right? It's not in your highest good. So if you have a little bit of patience, you're going to get this amazing energy coming in, okay? Eight of Wands could be Cupid's arrows. So you could be falling in love again. Or at the very least, you could be getting communication from somebody. Somebody could be um, reaching out. So that could lead to, you know, this Ten of Cups here. So you do have good things that you have to look forward to. You might not see it, but you do. So just try to heal your heart as much as possible, whoever broke it, whether it was your, you know, 
an, an ex, a spouse, or like you, even your kids can break your heart. You know what I mean? So just do your best to heal from it because you do have some really amazing things coming in. Igniting courage. I am strong, vigilant, and courageous. So that to me is saying that things have happened because it has taught you courage. It has taught you how strong you really are. It's you recognizing who you are and what you can get through. Um, I bet if you take a look at yourself in six months, you will see how far you've come and you will be very proud of yourself. Because whatever you're going through right now is really igniting your courage. And that was the point. Um, you know, sometimes we learn lessons the hard way. And it stinks. But that's part of life. That's what we're here for. To learn and grow. Right? So uh, you're, you're getting your courage. Which is beautiful. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors were open for you. Okay. So, you know, we all have control issues at times, right? We all try to control certain situations to make it not hurt as bad or to make it, you know, come out into our favor or whatever. This is saying just let go of that control. You know, give it up to God. Let Source take the wheel here. Um, because control is only an illusion anyway. We really don't have any control. Because, you know, there's so many people in our lives. And so many people that us, any situation revolves around. So we can't control everybody or every aspect of everything. So this is a time where they're saying, let it go. Let it go. Give it up to the divine. Let the divine handle things. Because um, it's not going to come out the way you want it to anyway. Or the way you think it's going to come out. Um, but it doesn't mean it's not going to come out in your favor. It just might not come out in the way you think. Okay. Let me give you an example. They're showing me this, so I'm going to tell you it. And it's, a, it's personal, and I probably shouldn't share it, but I'm going to. So when I was married, I would pray every night for like a knight in shining armor to come take me away. Because I was so unhappy in my marriage. Um, but I would never take steps to leave, right? Um, well, guess what? I got what I prayed for. Somebody came and took my husband away, but it wasn't a knight in shining armor. It was somebody for him, you know? She took his attention away. He started cheating. So, but the thing is, I got what I prayed for. And it really was in my highest good. Like that tower moment had to happen for me because I wasn't walking away. I wasn't making the choice myself. So it was a blessing in disguise, but it was a tough one. So I really didn't have control of that situation at all. I thought I did, but I didn't. It was completely taken out of my hands. So I don't know who needed to hear that. That was a really, really tough, hard lesson for me to learn. And I hope nobody out there needs to learn that one the way I did. <laughs> um, but there is the lesson here. So, uh, you know, like I said, let, the, let, let God handle it. It's really out of your control anyway. So let's move on. That was kind of dark and depressing. <laughs> we don't want that. You have great things. Look, I have to point this out because look how this these three cards are amazing cards. So you have really good things coming in. Magnanimous me. Um, magnanimous me. I'm going to read from the book. This is a time for your true nature to bloom like a crocus in the spring. You are nothing but a big ball of love and the only thing you really want is to love up on everyone. This is a good time to get in touch with that higher truth and see your generous spirit. Kindness, anyone? So this is saying that you're just a beautiful soul and really you want peace. You just want happiness. You want love. You want to love. You want to be love. But sometimes 
who we love is out of our control, right? And sometimes they're not the right ones for us. So just know that you are a beautiful, loving soul and you are going to get your Ten of Cups. You will. So just hang on to that. Just have a little bit of patience. I think that's what that temperance card is up there reminding you that good things are coming. You just have to wait a little bit. Okay. Strange companions in stranger places. Challenges and use your imagination. So for me, this is saying that you're probably going to meet somebody that you never thought you'd be friends with. Or maybe it was somebody you used to um, really not like. And now all of a sudden you bond over some a similar situation. So strange companions. You're, you're getting a friend or a companion that you never would expect. It's a so it's a total it's going to be a total surprise for you. It's going to take you off guard. But I'm just I want you to be open to it because you never know who how this person can help you in some way. Right? You, you it, this person might end up being your best friend and it might be somebody like you hated in high school or something like that you know you didn't like them but now you've gone through similar things and you have experiences that you can share with each other to help you cope with whatever you're going through um so be open to it don't shut anyone out right now because uh you might get some unexpected surprise Work through your fears. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Are you really afraid of being alone? Because you're not. None of us are. It might feel like we are, but we're not. Um, and what else are you afraid of? You know, if you're afraid of running out of money, well, guess what? Money's coming in here. So don't worry about that. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So that totally doesn't make sense with what we've been reading, right? Except for these cards. This could be a marriage card. This could say you're getting married in the future and you're going to ha live happily ever after. So a honeymoon could very well be in your future. If not, you could be traveling sometime soon. So keep that in mind. Let's get a, um, a love advice card. We have, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Okay, so easy does it. Temperance, right? Take a step back. Breathe. Let's focus on healing. What needs to be healed? What needs to be let go of? What, need, what do you need to be okay with? Let's focus on that for right now instead of focusing on... Um, either fighting with somebody or the fact that we lost something or worrying about what the future brings. So let's, let's take a break from all that right now and just focus on being happy in the moment, regardless of what you're going through. That's hard. I know that's hard, but that's what spirit wants you to do right now is find a reason to be happy right now. With, with you and with yourself, not with somebody else, but with you. What's going to make you happy right now? Go get your hair cut. You know, maybe go, go maybe put some color in it. <laughs> you know, go get purple streaks <laughs> or, or, I don't know, go buy yourself a bathing suit or, I don't know, anything. Just go make yourself happy for a second. Castle, it's a time for healing, not war. Hmm. So I think that's pretty much reiterating what I've just said, but I'm going to read from the book. It's a time for healing, not war. Don't burn something down to the ground unless you have a plan to build something better in its place. But it's too late for that, isn't it? You got angry. You pointed fingers. You called for war, and war was exactly what you got. Now that it's time for healing and, re and <laughs> repar reparations, repairs, basically, 
What's your plan? You need to take the same initiative and determination you had when it started and figure it out. Never neglect your intuition. So, again, this is just saying take time for you. You know, take time to heal. Take time to fix things. Um, You know, something burned to the ground, it feels like. It's okay. Because you're going to start rebuilding now. You're going to start rebuilding and it's going to be on a very solid and secure foundation here. You're building something strong with this card. Um, You might not realize it yet. You might not be there yet. But you are. So have a little bit of patience. Take some time for yourself. Heal. And then we'll see what's going on. Right? Because then you might put yourself in the right mindset to take on the challenges you need to take on. Right? You got to level on yourself first. You're not going to do anybody any good if you're, you know, miserable and cranky. It's not going to help. We all get there. I'm not saying that you're wrong for being there. We all get there. But it's saying, you know, they want you to give you some self-love here. Look, you got friends. Look at that with this card here. You got the friends. So you're going to, I have a strong feeling you are going to meet a new friend soon. And they're going to be very supportive. Yep. And a beautiful friendship could bloom from that. You got my protection charm. So you are protected at this time. And believe it or not, there's love here. You got one heart, two heart. You got the soulmate here, soulmate charm. So that's, you know, that's, I feel like that's somebody coming in here that you don't know, you don't expect. Um, I feel like you have somebody that you've had past lives with, that you've worked with before in other lifetimes. I really feel like they're coming in for you. Especially with all these cards. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of smiles coming in. You're going to have a lot of reasons to smile again. You're going to be fine. But there is a change, okay? There is a change. There is a transformation. It has to happen. It just does. It looks like you're coming into a time of, of being very independent. You got the flag here. So I do feel like independence is on its way to you. And that's a good thing. Even though you might feel alone in this world, you're not really. You're not. And I feel like you are finding that courage and you're going to be okay. Right? Because you are stronger than you think. Look at this tree. Right? You're stronger than you realize. And money's coming in too. So I think that you're going to be okay all the way around. You got the support ribbon. So you're being supported by your um, guides and your angels. So, Leo, everything's going to work out in your favor, I promise you. Look at that. You got some, you got the Ten of Cups coming in, right? You got, that's complete happiness for you. So, just bide your time, right? Do what you need to do to to heal, to let go, to feel better, just to be happy. And then you'll get it. Then it'll come in. You'll see. There's a plan. There's a plan that's happening behind the scenes that you don't see yet. But it's happening here. All right, Leo. Give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that'll help me a lot. Make me very grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light.